Hello, I'm back with a follow-up and or I guess review of the Frosty Peppermint Shampoo and Conditioner. I think it's still on sale. I checked it this morning on the app. Um, this will be a short video. I'll try to make it short for you folks so you can make up your mind and go get it now or wait until next year. Um, I will say this, the reason why I waited a couple of days was because Dr. Squatch says in their commercials only shampoo two or three times a week so I used this and then the next day just conditioner and then again last night I did both and I will say each time was refreshing and a cool feeling you know you can actually feel the peppermint on your scalp and it actually feels great you know I mean it's refreshing. I never felt that in a shampoo since maybe 15 years ago when I tried tea tree. But, well, that got old. And since these bottles are, well, limited, um, I'll make the best of them. Uh, this soap is from an old bundle. I think I got it from a scalper on eBay when I was ignorant. Um, I, I forgot how much it cost um, but the new frosty peppermint smell great that's like I said that's an old old bar when I first discovered Dr. Squatch back in April I jumped on a bandwagon and caught up on soaps that I don't know why oh well, there's that piece of wood I got for 15 20 bucks I think I forgot but like I said I did, I'm not getting paid by them but if you guys want to preserve your soap, try getting one of these little soap savers for, I think there were a two pack for $99 or $1.99. I believe the name of it was Mainstays. And I forgot, to, this is, I brought this in here because I wanted to, a lot of people were making videos on how to make their soap last. Now, like I said, I'm not one of those, I don't have nobody to hold a camera and I don't have anyone that's waterproof cameras. But uh, if I had a bowl of water and for hands free, I'd show you. You just wet that and then rub the soap around it once or twice and maybe one strip of soap on your limb and you scrub with that you will see that it makes awesome suds and that preserves the soap greatly i mean this soap is from three days of use now once on the body and twice with a little fuzzy thing and it still retains a good shape and size so i'm not complaining that i mean no if well, not offense intended, but if the shoe fits, those guys who claims to get two weeks or to a month to two months out of one bar of Dr. Squatch, I'm sorry, man, but you must stink because, or you're not getting plenty of FaceTime from your girlfriend. Stop! Anyways, but if you want a thorough shower, this will wear down. But with the little doodad there, the little fuzzy uh, puff thing, I know it's probably all only meant for women or something, but 20 years ago I saw a football player advertise that little puff thing. and But I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, if you want to, I don't use sponges because I don't like cruelty to animals, and I heard sponges come back to life when you use them in a the shower. That's kind of creepy. But, um... Like I said, uh, if you you got nothing to lose, if you can find those for like ninety nine cents to a dollar ninety nine, depending on where you go, you take the soap, put it around it a couple of times on that, and then one, or if you want, you can do both. Like, just do one strip of soap on your body, and then wrap that with the soap, and then scrub. You will have awesome lather, and you'll get yourself clean. And you don't want to rely on uh, exfoliant soaps that often. That's why I use exfoliate once a week. Because I'm constantly using that on an almost daily basis. If I'm pressed for time, I just do soap directly on body. Well, anyway, back to the shampoo. That's what this was mainly about. Um, this felt awesome on my scalp, both the shampoo and conditioner. And in case I already said it, my apologies in advance, but... Dr. Squatch said, yeah, I think I already said it, um, two or three times a week, use shampoo. And the first time I used both, I was like, wow. I mean, talk about a fresh, cool feeling, you know. Uh, you get what you pay for, trust me. And I'm happy I got two of these bundles and 
by the time next payday rolls around, they'll probably be sold out because I was going to buy more peppermint through subscription. But every time I click on Frosty Peppermint, I was going to boost it to get three more bars, but it said sold out. Except for the ones that's with the shampoos, so... I just want to say you won't be disappointed. I'm not saying you'll smell like a candy cane because I can't smell myself, you know what I mean? And I don't ask nobody at work to smell my head. But uh, the fresh, clean feeling you get when you use the shampoo and conditioner both, you know, it, it feels awesome, you know what I mean? And I hope that this little quick follow-up helps out, you know. Um, you know, I did the same thing for another soap from now on. If I'm in a mood or if I don't forget, I'll do a follow-up on the product I bought. Since this was hype and something strangely new, then who knows? I might come back and make another Dr. Squatch video for my fans. If you know, I hope this helps you guys encourage to buy more from Dr. Squatch. Like I said, it was a it, it was worth it if you're to. If you're tired of that same old routine, and I don't know a lot of shampoos that uses peppermint, but, you know, whether from a hard day at work or you just want that relaxing, cool feeling while you're washing your hair, this is the go-to soap. And another warning, like I said, if you watch out for the menthol crystals in this. Be very careful around your eyes. I'm not saying you're going to melt or you'll dial 911, but some people might be sensitive to the cool, I guess, the cool freezing feeling around your eyes. I mean, I'm not saying it's like pepper spray or anything like that. Let's just say, you know, for some it could, lack of a better term, burn around your eyes. It's cool ice menthol crystals that burn, I guess. But I hope this video helps you guys. Please like and subscribe or dislike. It's your choice. And shout out and thank you to Dr. Squatch for bringing us Frosty Peppermint. Um... And for the unbelievably quick shipping before Christmas. And, uh, I mean, I guess they're catching up, you know. But um, watch your packages, folks, because I heard on YouTube. And, of course, here in where I'm at, there's a lot of package thefts. So make sure you got somebody at home to catch this package the moment it gets there. Because it's just crazy out there. Uh, donate to my channel by helping somebody out with bag of groceries, five dollars in gasoline to get to work, or just being nice to them. <laughs> Even if they're on the left side, eh, they need it. Maybe it'll change them to normal. You never know. Um, stay safe and be patient on the roads during this holiday. And Merry Christmas and God bless. Bye bye.